Yeah. I've certainly seen, particularly on the AI front, you know, uh, when it comes to regulated industries as, as obvious, and this is not unique to generative AI, truly. When it comes to AI applications, when, uh, you know, with regulated industries, and a lot of those, you know, enterprises are in verticals that have regulations to that effect. It, it is a very fast moving space. And there is, there is a lot of concern around, okay, well, you know, does this training data, like, will it capture my input? Will it be retrained? You know, what about the inference? And like, and so I think that there's certainly some uncertainty attached to that, which, you know, look, if you're, if you're a customer who's, who's rolling it out, uh, the burden of proof is, is, is on, is on, you know, the output, but it's also up to like, can you change as quickly as necessary with potentially the regulations that are coming out, right? Like, so there's some risk associated with that, certainly. But I do think that, you know, there's lower hanging fruit that a lot of enterprises can certainly take muster of. And, you know, I mentioned one of the use cases at the top of the call, which is instead of capturing emails, just give them a little extra goodness, right? And right, that's, right. That, you know, that that's not something that's unique to SMBs or enterprises. Like that's something that you can kind of take off the shelf and just be like, okay, well, how do I integrate this in my workflow? Right. Yeah. I, I think that for the more sophisticated applications, certainly, you know, I, I'm seeing enterprises follow the typical adoption curve. Right. Uh, and this is, you know, you have Skunk Works teams who are experimenting. They have sort of isolated projects. They're usually net new. They're understanding, you know, what the applications look like before they roll it out. And I, the, the one thing that I do want to kind of call out here. That is not again not unique to generative AI, right? Is you always want to be aware of your own data estate, right? Yeah. Yeah. You always kind of want to be in lockstep with, particularly on these skunk, skunk works projects, have some level of visibility, right? Just be like, hey, this is an experiment. This is time bound. We're you know this is minimal cost, etc. But the reality is that, especially in these enterprises. As I mentioned, since the burden of proof is on you, you have to figure out how to articulate the value to the organization at large. And really, that's only done through visionary sort of proof of concept and leadership. That's the honest truth, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You have to be able to kind of like bring the, I you know, I hope you don't mind me borrowing this, uh, but like, br- like bring bring the tablets, right? Like show, show <laughs> right. the like sh- show the goods, right? Right. If you can't showcase in in kind of real order, even if it's something simplistic, right, what the application could unlock for the enterprise, I think it's going to be difficult to try and gain traction. And and the fortunate part with AI agents in particular, okay, is that a lot of the things that you can accomplish can be done with public information that's off the shelf. Yeah, You don't have to necessarily do that in the context of your own data. You can find proxy use cases and those proxy use cases with public data can hopefully i mean it could even be greg it honestly could even be something as simple as you have public documentation for your product yeah right yeah. hook it into ai agents that can ask and answer questions and maybe even something as simple as hey can you show a user where this is or take a screenshot of this inside of my product from public documentation for this mm. specific question. 